What is the Six Eyes? The Six Eyes is the visual ability that is given to those in the Gojo clan when they are born. It's a rare gift and it's especially more rare to have it accompanied with the Limitless Curse technique. The sorcerer, Satoru Gojo, is the current Six Eyes user and we are going to look and dive more into this. So before we begin, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, I'm aiming for around 70 likes, so that would be much appreciated as well. And now let's actually dive into the specifics of the Six Eyes. So to begin, the reason why there is no other Six Eyes user besides gojo at the moment is because there can only be one six eyes user at a time in jujutsu kaisen so when gojo dies there would be a newborn gojo family member with the six eyes eventually this gives the user extraordinary perception and to process things in their head exceptionally fast given the ability to utilize the limitless to its full potential this came around every couple hundred of years where someone is born with the six eyes and the limitless in the gojo family so how does the six eyes enhance the limitless curse technique well it allows the user to operate at an atomic level. So it can be said the limitless is used to its maximum potential. When a user of the six eyes uses the cursed energy and technique, it uses infinitely close to zero output pretty much meaning never running out of curse energy. The six eyes also allows you to see a further distance, even a few kilometers. For example, during the Kyoto Goodwill event, Gojo was able to see all people around from a far distance before teleporting towards them. Without the six eyes, you cannot use the limitless to its full ability. Yuto Kotsu earlier on mentioned he himself has more curse energy than Gojo, but Gojo's consumption is infinitesimally close to zero. This makes him much stronger as unlike Gojo, Yuto Kotsu's curse energy can actually run out. That's the gift of the six eyes. Not only that, but the speed of which the six eyes can process information is unfathomable, as shown by when the prison realm captured him. He processed one moment within a minute, meaning for a normal sorcerer or anybody else to process one minute, it takes seconds in his head. The six eyes can figure out anything to do with a person in terms of cursed energy, and he cannot be fooled by a clone. It can always tell from fake or real, but just not when it comes to the soul. In addition, the six eyes gives him the capability of being able to do anything. In Gojo character profile, it says he doesn't try to get too involved as it is for the sake of the next generation, meaning he can do and adapt anything that he puts his mind to, especially if it means that it's to decide it within a split second timing. So for example, when he did the 0.2 domain expansion, that is something he's never done or tried before, but he was able to pull it off. So why does Gojo use a blindfold or sunglasses at times? Well, in a fan book, Akatami did say the six eyes can see cursed energy in extreme insane detail. Even when blindfolded, everything looks like higher resolution for mode graphics. So if Gojo does not have the blindfold on, it can actually tire him. Normal humans when using a blindfold or using his type of sunglasses, all we'll be able to see is pitch black. And if you didn't notice, every time Gojo takes off his blindfold, it means he's about to get serious and also unrestrain his power. For example, against Miguel, Jogo, the disaster curses and even Sukuna, you can notice to use certain power, the blindfold needs to be taken off. Also showing it's time to use the six eyes effectively. And now ladies and gentlemen, that would be all when it comes to the six eyes. Make sure you check out the other videos explained on the screen right now. And as I say to new and old people that come and visit my channel, Jana.